On Monday, Donald Trump outlined his vision of the world and America's role in it in a keynote national security speech. And like his predecessors, he's not letting go of the idea of U.S. exceptionalism. America has been among the greatest forces for peace and justice in the history of the world. Our strategy is to advance American influence in the world. The American people are generous. America will lead again. When the American people speak, all of us should listen. In a statement, the U.S. Defense Secretary backed the president's security plan. James Mattis said that the new strategy will ensure American diplomats, quote, always speak from a position of strength. In his speech, Trump outlined Russia and China as rival powers challenging America's influence in the world. The two countries are also accused of developing advanced weaponry that could threaten U.S. infrastructure. However, Trump did say that attempts must be made to build partnerships with them. Beijing has branded Washington's approach as outdated. We urge the U.S. to stop deliberately distorting China and spurn outdated ideas such as a Cold War mentality and coalition game. Otherwise, it will hurt others and destroy itself. Political science professor Joseph Cheng thinks it's in America's interest to have competition. The Chinese leadership responds in saying that it would like to have a uh, new type of major power relationship with the United States, meaning no major confrontations, no uh, major uh, uh, challenges and so on. The United States needs enemies, or to put it more nicely, strategic competitors. Uh, they are needed for the United States to, to remain on the alert and to, and to be able to muster enough resources to maintain the lead. I think China and Russia understand this, and this is also well recognized by many Americans.